You watch the traffic from the window in the cafe. You think about how when someone yawns when they're driving, it almost looks like they're screaming, but then you hear the crash. Roll for saves. This is episode nine. And this episode, we are going to make a new mission for Jafing. Um, last episode, we just did some bookkeeping. Um, it was a little shorter episode. Sorry about that. But we did some bookkeeping, got Jafing healed up, um, and explored how that worked a little bit. And then also uh, rolled dice for the Blade Archivist to figure out what they have um those three artifacts that they got from the original heist so um what i'm going to do is use my plot maker to create a couple more items and then we'll have the uh the blade archivist will sign whatever it is to jafing and he'll just have to take care of it the best he can so this is going to be uh, three to six a few times so first one we have five three five all right let's go down five is an event three is a gathering and five is a festival no inauguration there's gonna be an inauguration hmm. maybe they're inaugurating a new uh, place or a new person uh, let's see what we get with another dice roll I'm gonna re-roll these that's a four five two. Uh, four five two is going to be a location. Uh, five is red light district. Interesting, and it's going to be a business room. And what I mean by business room is uh, a high end, mm, a high end establishment that would provide um, illicit uh, desires. Um, whether it's drugs or uh, companionship, uh, they would they would provide illicit things to uh, high end client clients um, that are likely to do business there. So, you know, untrustworthy kind of business runners, um, maybe the very very high end criminals, um, that sort of thing. So, inauguration of a new business room, and uh, what's going to happen in the business room? Maybe they want Jafing to get some information. Um, I think that's going to be most likely uh, at this sort of place. So, what they're going to do is they're going to um, uh, do up Jafing try to get Jafing in as uh, some sort of a plant in the business room um, to, to cozy up to a high level um, individual. So I'm gonna roll individual here. So I already know I'm on an individual. Um, so we just gotta figure out who they are. So I'm gonna delete this and just roll a six here. This is a two, someone in the enforcement category and reroll that it's a six undercover that doesn't work i'm going to veto that one a two detective another detective um okay so this this works out pretty well nala who is a police detective um caught wind that a that a different detective in the police force is working an angle on missing artifacts um so one angle they're going on is tracing the ones that uh the blade archivist had cornered but also tracing other artifacts that disappeared that the blade Arch archivist would like to get their hands on so they're going to send jafing after this um, detective to try to get information is this detective male or female no, it's a female um, usually I do odds or male even or female um, so this female detective 
they're sitting young chafing maybe this detective um is is really corrupt um hence why they're meeting at a business room they're really corrupt um they they work closely with the mafia the mafia whatever the the crime syndicate had uh an artifact or two stolen and the detectives working the case for them and nada wants to get the information that this detective has detect nala's kind of doing it themselves as well um so they're gonna send young young pretty chafing in to get this figured out so chafing's gonna go in chafing's not going to have anything um anything anything can't go in with leather can't go in with anything what i will say they're going to take the helm um hmm what should i do with the helm i said it was a helm but it just means headwear right it could be could be anything so jayfing's going to have it it's um i'm going to say it's like a skull cap uh uh helmet right kind of metallic and stuff so it could last through the ages and uh the blade archivists have someone that covered it in felt and basically turned it into like a kind of like a fedora or something bowler maybe and they're going to spend some money to get jafing some fine clothes to help him fit in so i'm going to start this as another list here da, 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 da. all right so jafing's going to have the helm of happiness and fine clothes all right so fine clothes can give uh uh It can it can make certain roles easier um it's going to be necessary to get into the club so without the club getting in is going to be hard or without the fine clothes getting in would be hard to do with the club the helm of happiness um again those can be magic roles so we'll get in that later uh so what i'm hoping to do this episode and or i guess i should say this caper um this mini plot is to uh practice the magic a little bit see how it works something that i've not done yet so jafing's gonna go to the club um does he have do they spend any time building a cover for jafing mm, yes they do all right so they build some time build, uh, making a cover for jafing jafing learns how to be a server um so while he was healing up uh, his hand, uh, what they did was, because of his courage, finishing the heist, I believe he's moved to a day shift, but kept at the night shift wages, um, especially while he's healing up. Um, and then, because they, they proved that they could pull some strings anyways with him or for him. So he, he gets put on the day shift, even though he has the night shift wages. Um, and then the Blade Archivist have him start going into this uh, this business club to uh, act as a server. And so he's, he's running things from the bar into like uh, VIP rooms. And they're trying to get him set up so he will deliver to the other detective when the detective is uh just there enjoying themselves so i'm gonna roll uh, some dice get some names da, 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 da. uh ten, you a lot of yous all right uh 20s uh 2012 2012 jay-z or S. So Suju, 
Suzu, Suzu, Zusu, Zusu, Zuzu, Suzu. What's 16? Why? Yuzu. All right, Yuzu is the detective. All right, oh, this is so unresponsive sometimes. Yuzu is a person. Yuzu is a detective. Moonlights for syndicate. All right, syndicate's gonna be just the 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 mafia sort of faction. All right. So this is a person. So now we have a faction of the syndicate. Come on, make me a new one. There. Okay. It's so slow sometimes. All right, syndicate. I don't know anything about them yet, except that they hire a person to track missing artifacts. And so we're missing artifact. I don't know what this artifact is yet, but there's going to be a missing artifact somewhere. All right. Oh, I'm going to clear all that. So Suzu's meeting uh, with Mafia person. Jafin's going to try to listen in to um, gain some information. Is this club in the nautical district? No, not at all. All right. So nautical is not going to work at all. Um, I was trying to see if it was like frequented by ships, captains, and whatnot. Um, no, this is very, very much a land lover type of place. Anything else I need to know about this? I think that's it. Oh, how many people are in the room? Whoops, cancel. Uh, how many people are in the room? So we know that it's going to be the mafia leader person, uh, Suzu. I'm going to say 1d6 extras. Um, well, I'm going to do 2d4. The first d4 will be uh, bodyguards and such, will be, which will be d4 plus 1. And the other d4 will be uh, club entertainment. Um, so these will be escorts, um, uh, people like helping you in vibing drugs, that sort of thing. All right, so clear this out. So I'm going to do 2d4. The first one is two, so that's going to be three bodyguards and uh, two escorts. So the bodyguards, they don't, right, they, they're on duty. They can't really enjoy. So there's going to be, uh, what was the name? Yuzu. Yuzu plus mafia, probably just under a don, whatever be under the don. Um, kind of a, a lieutenant, maybe. And then there are going to be three bodyguards. I'm going to put bodyguard, BG, bodyguards. And then uh, two helpers. And the helpers, uh, Jafing would have gotten to know during the time at the club. He's probably been working there for five days or so. So he's seen, you know, Girls and boys come and go. He's seen the drug dealers and such. He's seen a lot of stuff happen. And uh, so he's going in. Um, and activates the, the helm of happiness. And... Uh, where is invoke? All right. I got to reorder these for alphabetical order. So this is going to be a magic test. Let me describe this quickly. I'll do an ex extended uh, explanation later. Um, magic tests are only slightly different than other tests in that um, you roll one of your power dice in addition to your regular um, your regular save die. So power die are the same size always. Um, so here on Jafing's character sheet, it's 44. So I'll roll 1d4 
And I'm, I'm not, this is not the roll. I'm just putting it in the board. That's weird. Okay, if you're not watching this, it's just spinning on one end. Okay, so there's a D4. And for attunement, Jafing's going to have a D... Well, I don't know. Has Jafing practiced with this? No. So mm, I'm going to put Jafing just at a D6. D4, D6, D8, D8, D6. I don't know it's necessarily going to be hard yet. All right, so D4 and D8. So D4 is the power die, and the D8 is the save die. So Jafing has the attune skill. So he gets one bump. Um, nothing really makes it easy, and nothing to uh, make it hard. I'm just going to go straight D8. And he'll keep the highest of these dice, um, which will more than likely be the D8. All right, but you never know, random. And based on the highest result, we'll determine if he has a consequence, right? Remember one, two, or three is a consequence. Um, but I'm gonna compare the highest die to um, this. And then for either of them, no matter which one's highest, if either or both of them or for each one of them, for each die that is under a four, he loses one power die until he has a chance to uh, take a rest. So that's that's how you do the roll. All right, so Jafin comes into the room, um, delivering some drinks, uh, has some, yeah, they'll have like a coffee or tea or something that he can deliver to the bodyguards, um, help them be alert. And then uh, he has uh, four drinks, um, strong alcoholic drinks, alcohol drinks for the uh, detective Yuzu and the mafia leader, second in command, and the two quote unquote helpers who are scantily clad. Oh, I'm gonna roll the D4 real quick. Is the the syndicate second in command male or female? Do, 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 do. That is another female. All right, so female, uh, the help, are they male or female? I'm gonna roll one for each. Uh, one is female and one is male. All right, so there's young male, young female, that are scantily clad, um, just barely covering up. Um, and they are getting some, we'll say right now, the they are uh, playing music together, um, just some light um, string instruments, um, something where they can stand up playing it. So maybe like, some, violins or something and it playing it standing up kind of has them on display at the uh side of the room away from the door um so that's the site that greets uh chafing when he comes into this room and he's delivering the the drinks and he invokes the helm so this is the actual roll. Uh, oh, that is terrible. All right, um, three and two. So he's gonna lose two power dice. So he gets down to 2d4. Um, no, yeah, yeah, he loses two power dice on one roll. And uh, the, the specified emotion is happiness, right? We already said that it's the helm of happiness. So uh, he, he comes in and asks, oh, is there anything else uh, you ladies would like um, tonight? And they just briefly feel this dopamine hit of happiness when he speaks to them and looks at them. And um, that quick dopamine hit, they, uh, I'm going to say it's going to more than likely ask, they're going to ask him to join. 
Um, so I'm going to roll d12 and 2d6. Yes, they ask Jafing. Oh, well, I think right now we could use another person here on the sofa with us. And um, so Jafing sits down. Uh, does Jafing know which one the detective is? Yes. All right. So Jafing knows who the detective is. He's had good enough description. Maybe she has a standout hair. Uh, her hair is uh, super blonde. Uh, most people in this area, they don't have blonde hair. Um, and so he sits down and there's the blonde detective. Uh, we'll say then a brunette haired uh, syndicate boss. And then all the other ones. So Jafing says, oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Um, Jafing was searched before came into the room. Um, probably have one of the guards outside, uh, the three bodyguards. So two bodyguards are inside, one outside, one outside. Two, that's now two, are inside. Um, so the one outside pats him down, lets him through with the drinks. Um, and then he he sits on the sofa and says, oh, yes, I can absolutely join you. And um, he's, there's, uh, are there, is there drug paraphernalia? I believe more than likely, yes. Uh, yes, there is. So Jafing's going to start to prep the paraphernalia. Um, uh, I think badly. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Um, well, he's been working here for a while. I'll just give him a flat D6. I'm not going to make it hard. Flat D6. Yeah, he's... Um, Jafing sits down and starts to prepare. And they see how badly he's doing. So they they stop him and it's like, Do you know what you're doing? He's like, Oh, I've only been working here for a while. Uh, for you know, a short time. I was just trying to get everything prepared. Do my best. Oh, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Um, they're kind of put off by him at this point. So he's going to try to invoke one more time. D8 and D4. All right. He loses one more um, power die. So he goes down to one power die. And he has a seven. All right. So the target. Um, so seven through nine, the target feels a specified emotion for number of, number of hours equal to the effort. Um, so our effort is seven. So for seven hours, um, this target feels uh, happiness towards chafing. And I'm going to say he targeted the detective. So the detective really wants him there. Um, so chafing is going to enjoy the night. Um, it's going to, uh, just partake with everyone and going to make some rolls. Jafing's going to make a roll, a save roll to, uh, keep, keep his wits about him and to stay out of trouble. Uh, he's only going to have a D6 on this. Um, nautical's not going to help. The two in the study don't help. Nothing else helps. That's all he has is a D6. Um, all right, so. Oh, that's a one. Oh, no, Jafing. Um, all right, Jafing, in the first few hours, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, count down his grit. So his grit's five. I'm going to count down his grit, and that's going to be him getting closer to uh, losing control, so to speak. Uh, oh, what do I want to do real quick? I'm going to move the board there. All right. So background's there. And that gives me more space for writing. Uh, what was that name? Yuzo? Yuzo? Yuzu? Yuzo. All right. So, uh, Jafing's grit. is um five 
starting goes down minus one. All right, and then the party's going well. J Fing's um, trying the drugs, and it's the first hit, so he just gets zoomed out of his mind. Um, uh, I'm going to say it's a relaxant, so he becomes just way too relaxed. Uh, the the detective and mafia boss kind of talk about the artifacts a little bit. Um, detective's like, oh, no, I haven't found anything, da 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 But Jafing is so zonked out that he just misses all the information. Um, and meanwhile, the detective and the, the, uh, the two workers, the two help, and the... Oh, what do you call it? The, the the syndicate underboss, they're all getting uh, very friendly um, because that's what happens in these rooms. And so we'll say that's going to be covered two hours. Um, next two hours, J Fing doesn't do well again. All right, J Fing uh, loses two more grit out of five. Not good, J Fing, not good, buddy. Um, Jafing goes to, uh, they send Jafing out to get some more drinks and Jafing just gets lost because he's still zonked out of his mind and uh, doesn't return for a while and he's going to come back to the room. Are they still there? Jafing might fail his first mission. Um, are they still there? Yes, they are. All right. And J Fing's going to roll again for the next two hours. So he came back really late. Um, gives him the drinks though. God, J Fing's having a hard time. All right, so this is bit, this is the third roll. So this has been J Fing, uh, six hours, like all nighter. Um, is doing terribly. And this detective's going to try to take J Fing home. Um, Jafing, we're gonna roll one last save, and if Jafing, uh, the detective's an unscrupulous person, and if Jafing doesn't pass the roll, the detective's going to take Jafing back to uh, her home and. Uh, get him into the bed and try to seduce him when he comes around and then if he does pass the save he'll become lucid enough to uh, kind of steer the events to try to apply information out of the detective because the detective's not doing too well either so that's what this role is going to be this is the last role um uh, Jafing's going to be out of grit and just be out of control for the rest of the night. Um, Jafing, is your last roll. You got to do, do well. Here we go. I, I can't look at the screen. Oh, oh, Jafing. Jafing's had a tough night. So Jafing is out of grit. Um, the detective takes Jafing home. Uh, and... There's going to be an interesting conversation in the morning. Gets Jafing home, undresses him, and is just absolutely stunned at what she finds. And then, I'll tell you what, it's it's thirty minutes. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna think about how to narrate this. tactfully and we'll we'll cover that in the next session all right so um this has been roll for saves um you can find more information on blogspot.com um this is a youtube video and a podcast and you can
uh, help support everything and download documentation and such at uh, patreon.com. All right, uh, play games and have fun.